Hi, we're Team AB and we're going to discuss our motivation behind creating OptiCharge. With the move towards green energy technologies, there is an increasing adoption of electric vehicles in Canada. Parking lots and multi-unit residential buildings, otherwise known as MERBs, pose as perfect locations to provide access to electric vehicle charging to MERB residents or garage orphans. However, MERBs might lack the necessary infrastructure to support charging services and might result in costly upgrades. The use of a battery energy storage system can encourage the installation of EV technology and help mitigate excessive loads from the grid. Throughout the semester, our team has worked with Toronto Hydro to develop OptiCharge, which is a set of interactive applications to determine the optimal use of a battery energy storage system with an understanding of peak shaving, future load prediction, and operational cost analysis. This is Team AB, and we're excited to answer any questions you might have for us. Toronto Hydro has asked Team AC to create an energy management system. The three main objectives of the energy management system are to optimize, build, and monitor the power usage of electric vehicle charging stations within a multi-unit residential building. Optimization comes in the form of algorithms and machine learning to create and optimize the charging schedule based on historical data. Billing comes in the form of financial data calculations on top of historical data. The monitoring portion comes from the ability to view the historical data for all the different components. In addition to the EMS, we have created two additional components, namely the simulation and design components. The simulation is a powerful simulation tool used to generate both historical and real-time data for the three energy systems to be connected to the EMS. The design components contain just one tool used to calculate the long-term financial costs for purchasing these components. The EMS combined with the simulation and design components create our platform, which we refer to as the EMS Plus platform. Are you tired of maintaining your lead acid golf carts? Sick of replacing the battery every couple of years? What about always having to monitor the temperature of your golf carts in those cold Canadian winters? Well, lucky for you, Lithium Prime's got your back. We present a lithium power supply system which easily replaces lead acid power in your golf cart. You may wonder why you should switch your old rusty battery for ours? It's simple, we're so much better. Our batteries run longer and charge faster, have a 10 year lifetime, have a built in heating system which lets them thrive in weather as low as negative 20 degrees. And you guessed it, no maintenance needed. We thought of all the troubles golf carts can bring you, including that time you ran out of charge on hole nine. Our user-friendly interface allows you to track the battery level so you never get stranded again. Our team cares about you and the environment by reducing the overall waste of golf carts and batteries. Visit our booth to find out more about Lithium Prime. We are Team L and our project is the High Voltage Power Monitoring System. Our team consists of Paul, Sammy, Joseph, Pierre, and Johannes. The main problem we are trying to solve is industrial power can cost the company a lot. So how do you save money on electricity? We created a system using Raspberry Pi as a server and a Node MCU microcontroller as a device that collects data. This project is an Internet of Things device as Wi-Fi is the main form of communication. Because of the easy scalability, we can install a number of these on different test stands and they would all communicate back to the main hub. Some challenges we faced were different time zones, a reduction in schedule, as well as a 3D printing issue. In the end, we were able to make something any device can plug into that sends data to a server which will generate the requested results in the form of an email. We were able to meet the main goals. With more time, further developments would have been possible. Hello, we are Geek Co. And we are proud to present our project design, a portable lithium ion battery e-bike kit. In today's e-bike market, most e-bikes are currently retail at very high prices, making it unaffordable for low to middle income families to purchase for daily transportation. Furthermore, e-bike kits are complex and require a certain amount of technical knowledge to install onto a hybrid bike. This causes many to be uninterested in upgrading their bike. Due to this, 
The team plans to create an e-bike kit that can be easily attached and detached from a 15 inches to 19 inches hybrid bike. What we see here is a SOLIDWORKS CAD of the e-bike kit on a bike. And when we zoom in, this is the view of the kit. These are some pictures of our asphalt design. The first pic shows where the e-bike kit is attached to the bike. The second pic shows the electrical components all connected together. And the third pic shows where the battery is inside the customized battery enclosure. Thank you guys for watching. The golf ball launcher consists of the monitoring system and the launching system. The parts consist of an Arduino Uno with SD card reader and writer attached, an Arduino cam, two megapixel camera, a laser module with photo cell to make our brake beam sensor, and an LED module. The launcher consists of an air tank to hold the compressed air, an air pump to compress the air, a nozzle to launch the ball, and all controlled through an Arduino using a speed switch and solenoids. The plan for this project is to launch a golf ball with a set speed and rotation to then have the monitoring system confirm those values. Let's see how this goes.